there are lots of kinds of pregnancies. Now, this might seem surprising because, hey, guess what? A woman has sex, gets pregnant and has a baby. But the reality is it's not so simple. So one of the things, especially after IVF, is something called a PUL or a pregnancy of unspecified location. Let me explain what this is. Once the patient misses a period after the embryo transfer, we do a blood test. This is called a beta HCG. Now, if the blood test is negative, that means she's not pregnant. But if the blood test is positive, that means she's pregnant. But of course, patients don't just want a pregnancy. They want a baby. But the reality, some of these pregnancies are going to be unhealthy or abnormal. Some of these are called ectopic pregnancies or tubal pregnancies. Some of these are pregnancies inside the uterus, but they're not healthy or they're not viable. So until we know what's going on, we label these as pregnancies of unspecified location. What does that mean? That means the woman is pregnant, but we don't know where the pregnancy is. Why does this happen? This is because as long as the beta HCG is less than a thousand, which is a very early pregnancy, doing an ultrasound scan doesn't provide us with any useful information. So that she's pregnant and we just need to monitor her HCG levels. Now, fortunately, in most women, the HCG levels will double well. And after it crosses a thousand in ultrasound scan, which show that she has a healthy intrauterine pregnancy. But in some women, the HCG levels plateau or the HCG levels drop. If they drop, then we can say, fine, this was a pregnancy, but it miscarried. Some of these miscarry very early and they're called chemical pregnancies. If they miscarry after a beta HCG of thousand, when we can see a sac, we call it a first trimester miscarriage or a clinical miscarriage. But in some of them, the levels remain a little bit low and it's not possible to identify where the pregnancy is. It's not a healthy pregnancy. It's called a pregnancy of unspecified location. And this is a complete gray zone area. And it's very frustrating for the patient and equally frustrating for the doctor because the patient wants answers, but our technology is not good enough to answer those questions. So we can't even say where the pregnancy is. We can't even say why the pregnancy is not growing properly. But the good news is that if you had a pregnancy once, even if that particular pregnancy doesn't result in a baby, your future chances of having a healthy baby actually increase because you have been pregnant once.